All right, I'm excited about this. Of course, if you tune it in to Indian Trace, you're used to seeing some incredible artifacts. I mean, I'm every time I get to, you know, collect some, I'm humbled. It humbles me. But you're looking at uh, Sun Hill Overture. It's a little outlying area through the hit, through the creek right here, and on the other side is Sun Hill. And you're looking at a lot of tobacco. You're looking at thousands and thousands of tobacco plants. Now they came in here and across the whole land, especially where I live, it's like the tobacco capital of the flat out world. And they, 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 they even print that stuff. But listen, I want to show you something that was in the ground. I walked up to it and uh, it, it, had, it had such good potential, tight, great workmanship, black flint. Uh, you know, they planted 10,000s of tobacco plants on top of multiplied 10,000s of artifacts. Look at this workmanship if you can pick it up. It's real good workmanship. I looked around it real close at the base, if I can get it in focus. So we're going to check that in this baby. This baby is tight as can be. So we'll check it out. At, I mean, that's already two inches right there. I mean, that's not a small point. So I give you an idea. Look at my finger and the joints of my finger. Unbelievable. We'll check that out. But look at this. Of course, tobacco going on here. And I usually am able to just host and show you some of these great artifacts. Look at this. I even found, I know that Marl Mountain is just absolutely smoking right there. We'll get that in a second. Here is a great scraper, hide scraper. I don't find them that often. Great piece. I mean, I'm telling you what, I would have liked to know right now. The animals, of course it was white-tailed deer and any other varmint they could get, whether it was coyote, raccoon, possum, it didn't matter. Uh, anything that they could hunt and gather. They use these stones to clean the inside and scrape the hides and get them ready and use the hides for lots of different things. Unbelievable that they knew uh, what hides were best for what in terms of different animals. That's a great piece right there. I like to find those. Don't find them that often. And look at this. We have a great selection. Here's a piece for you, a couple. Look at the contrast in size. We got a couple really great little points right here. I mean, look at the contrast in size, will you? These aren't even an inch right here. And then you got this with the serrations. What a great point. Then we're moving into bigger quartz stuff. A couple bases that are respectable. Just take a little time to give you a really good close-up of it. A couple more small points here with a piece of pottery. Look at the texture on that pottery. Just a good show of it. Here's an interesting point. A little bit of a Guilford base and they rounded it off. I would doubt they used that as a scraper, but they definitely rounded it off. And that's the base right there where it's relieved, very indicative of a Guilford Yuma or a Guilford Strait. Could be it's sharp, rounded off, and it would have still done the work, it's still done the job, I'm not sure. And here's the absolutely incredible find that just popped out on me off the side of a bank across the woods. Just look at this Marl Mountain. And we still have to check that piece in the ground, but I just wanted to give justice and, and show you this stuff. Look at this piece, will you? This is durable, strong, strong point. It's got a hump there, I don't mind that at all. It's just such a perfect piece. Love that piece. With a scraper. Good view of that, right? Now, we didn't forget it, where is it? Okay, let's check this out. Indian Trace, doing my best to, still stuck in there, I'm pulling on it right now. There we go, you see it working, working loose? 
dirt on the point. Oh, mercy. <laughs> wow. Uncommon. Right out of there. You see where the water was draining in there? These extra 10 steps up on one part of this section I'm checking, I wasn't going to walk. And I said, let's do it. Let's do a 10 countdown. And I counted down from 10. And before I got there, I saw this piece. It happens, doesn't it? Holy cow. If I just show you that the way it's made. It's just a great piece. They worked every inch of this thing. I can feel it with my fingers more than I can see it. I'm trying to film it too. Sounds nice out here, doesn't it? ancient treasure out here right out of a spot like that in the ground Whew, big all right everybody thank you appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace and of course that right there That's Indian Trace. Hope you find out there.